Hey, Canucks fans. The Canucks have had all of their games leading into Christmas officially postponed by the NHL. And it's time for another edition of Ask Me Anything. I'm Canuck Clay. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take on the one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Sunday, December the 19th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. As always, this vlog is brought to you by Perform and Transform, personal training and weight loss. Sign up now for a free seven-day trial using the link in my video descriptions. And by Van City Experts Real Estate Group, contact Jason Lim and his team for all of your real estate needs. Before I get to the news of the day, before I get to your questions for Ask Me Anything, four quick programming notes. I hope you indulge me. I'll go really quickly and we'll go in chronological order. Number one, 8.30 to 9.30 tonight, member Zoom chat for franchise, Hall of Fame, Hero, and Legend. So I've sent that link out. I put it on my community tab. Hope to see you at 8.30 tonight. Number two, live stream tonight, 10 p.m., my weekly Sunday night live stream. Hope that you will join me there. Number three, 11.15 11.15 tonight, I'm going to be premiering my long-awaited bowling mic'd up video. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty hilarious, actually. Get to see, see some pretty good bowling and hear even more hilarious commentary. So I'll be doing that as a YouTube premiere at 11.15 tonight. And number four, last day to request your cameos from Marie and me. Personalized Christmas carols, all proceeds going to the Canucks for Kids Fund. We are recording tomorrow morning. Also might be recording some, a little something something special tomorrow. Um, so make sure if you're interested in doing that, purchasing a gift for a loved one make sure you get your request in by the end of tonight cameo.com slash marie and clay okay thanks for indulging me today the nhl announced a series of announcements that all have to do with covid games and of course the threat of not being able to play in the olympics so it's a three-part release the first part talks about the fact that because most teams and most people that are getting uh, going under COVID protocol are, are not showing any symptoms. The the basically statement said that they're not going to shut down the league. They're going to try and play the games that they can. And that they're not going to try and shut down teams uh, kind of in a blanket kind of statement. Every team will be evaluated on a case-by-case basis. So a team like Vancouver technically not shut down. They can still practice. They can still have team activities. But some of their games have been postponed. So that's the first part of the NHL statement. The second part, the one that's uh, most relevant right now, is any inter-border, any Canada versus U.S. game right now postponed through to Christmas. So that affects the Canucks in two games. We already knew that last night they didn't play against Toronto. Tonight, they're not going to host Arizona. Now, on Tuesday, they're not going to be flying to San Jose for that game. And on Thursday, they're not going to be hosting Anaheim. So, again, um, do, it's the actually official statement was due to the concern about cross-border travel and given the fluid nature of federal travel restrictions effective on Monday, all games involving a Canadian-based team playing a U.S.-based team from December 20 to December 23rd will be postponed and rescheduled. So, again, it affects the Canucks playing in San Jose on Tuesday and hosting Anaheim on Thursday. So the Canucks don't have any games now through to the Christmas break. So kind of sucks from a momentum standpoint. They had won six straight. They're going to go for seven. They could have got up to 10 straight wins before Christmas. But now we have to wait at least until after Christmas to see if that happens. So that's the first. And then the third part of the announcement was when it comes to Olympics, they're going to make a decision the next few days. I don't see how the, the team go. I don't see how the NHL goes to the Olympics now given the COVID situation, given the political situation. And they, they had that out in their in their Olympic agreement, basically, that if COVID was bad, they would instead use that break to catch up on games. And as more games get postponed, the more likely it is that they'll need those three weeks to catch up on NHL games. Okay, so some announcements, some NHL news that affects the Canucks. Now let's get to your questions. Thank you for taking the time to submit them. Marcus, why do you think Jet Wu hasn't been called up or even played much in the minors? Has he not developed enough? Marcus, great question. When Jet Wu was drafted in the 2018 draft, the Quinn Hughes draft in the second round, a lot of people were excited. Right hand, you know, right shot D, kind of a, a throwback style, BXA type style. But uh, his development has been hit and miss. He was pretty good for a couple of years. Then he wasn't named to the World Junior Team. And then I wouldn't say concerns. That's too strong of a word. 
but he had an okay season in Utica last year, and then he's had an okay season in Abbotsford right now. He's only played seven games, actually. Or no, 17 games, I think. So he's played half of the games for Abbotsford. So um, I, I think in the big picture... I don't. I'm. I haven't heard any major concerns about his development. I've heard he's still on track. Remember, he was only drafted three years ago, so I've always said I think he's still two or three years away. Then he'll be 23 or 24. So he wasn't the 19 year old phenom that Quinn Hughes was or anything like that. So I think maybe we'll see him in about two years. And as we know, the right side of the defense is pretty open. Uh, after Myers, you have Pullman actually for another three years after this, but then Hamnick's on a short term contract, so there might be a chance for him to step up. And, and come in the lineup in two years' time. So not concerned about Jet Wu, but I'd love to see what he can do with the Vancouver Canucks. Great question. Tristan. Hi, Clay. It's Tristan. I have two questions, if that's okay. My first one is, do you think Green feels bad for not doing the right things to let Green win more? I'm uh, sorry, to let the Canucks win more. Uh, my second question is, what is your favorite thing or things Bruce Boudreaux is doing for the team? Thanks. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening and go Canucks go. Tristan, great questions, both about coaching. Number one, with Green, do I think he feels bad? I don't think he feels bad that he that he doesn't feel bad that he didn't do the right things for the Canucks to win more. I think he just feels he, it's just a pride thing. He feels bad that he doesn't have a job. He feels bad that um but I I wouldn't put it the way that you put it, Emily Tristan. I would say if he would feel bad, it's because of a personal pride. No one likes to get fired and he probably thinks that he wished that he could be pushing the right buttons for the Vancouver Canucks. I wouldn't extend it so much. I know I'm getting technical here, but I wouldn't say he feels bad because he didn't do the right things. I think it would be more he feels bad that he wasn't uh, the team didn't perform as well as they are doing right now. So I guess it, it does connect to your question. Is it because of the things that he did or didn't do? Perhaps, because to answer your second part of the question, what's my favorite thing about Bruce Boudreaux? He's open the Canucks. He's, he's focusing on the Canucks' strengths. And that's an, they're an offensive team and they have strong goaltending. I think... I've talked about this. Travis Green kind of coached to mask the team's weaknesses and deficiencies, i.e. poor defense. So we have everyone come back and play defense. Whereas Boudreaux is saying, okay, we have a pretty could have a poor defense, but we have a really good offense. So we're going to focus on that. Therefore, with that systems change, more aggressive, playing with more pace, playing with more um, assertiveness, then it leads to confidence. And I think that's those are the things that, I, that I've seen from Bruce Boudreaux. Beard testosterone. Should the Canucks consider trading Elias Pettersson? I would say no. I still think he can be a top 10, top 15 center in the league. He hasn't shown it this year, but it's only the first year of a three-year contract worth $7.35 million. I do not trade him. And even if you do trade him, even if you do, he his technically his value is quite low right now, and you want to build him up before you do trade him close to the trade deadline or whatever it may be, close uh, to a playoff containing team. So, um, no, I don't consider trading him. I think given his contract situation, three at 7.3 is pretty good if he, if he ramps his game up. I think you're looking more at Besser or Miller uh, if you have to look at trading someone. So no, I do not look at trading Elias Pettersson. Ethan, do you think the Canucks will make the playoffs now? As much as they are doing so well, and now they're only one game under 500, which is amazing, they still got to get to 12 games over 500 to make the playoffs. I've talked about that for, for a few weeks now. As much as I want them to make the playoffs... And even if there was no COVID, although that kind of throws a wrench into everything, I still think it's going to be tough for them to indeed do it because uh, um, they're not going to win six in a row all the time. Having said that, um, it wouldn't surprise me if they did. I would love it as a Canucks fan. But if I had to place money, a bet, on making it or not making it, I'm still leaning towards not making it. That's how big the hole they dug themselves was. Derek Chang, Clay, two questions. Is your live meetup going ahead? And do you think the NHL will have to pause the season temporarily because of COVID? My live meetup, if you're talking about the one at the card shop, yes, but it won't, I'm not going to do it over the holidays. I think it's too busy of a time anyways. Looking at a weekend in January, I checked out the card shop. I'm going to talk about it on my stream tonight, actually. I checked out the card shop. It looks good, but we're still working out details. So that will be a January thing. And do I think the NHL will have to pause the season temporarily because of COVID? Well, you're already seeing that now in that games are getting postponed. Will they actually take a full pause? I think they're going to see how it goes over the Christmas break because at least no teams are playing for four or five days. That's a chance for all teams to reset and enhance their protocol. So we'll see. But I, I, would not, I wouldn't be surprised if they did postpone the season for a little bit. And then that Olympic break becomes even more important. Brandon, when will the games be made up that were post postponed? I think if 
the sheer number of games that are being postponed, I think they use the Olympic break to do that, kind of what I talked about at the start of this video. And Mike says, do the, does the NHL go to Beijing in February, even with the COVID problem going on in the league? Stay safe and have a great day. Go Canucks, go. Peace. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, kind of wrapping everything up, in uh, as I've talked about throughout this video, I do not think the NHL is going to go to Beijing because of COVID, because of political situation, and because they're postponing so many games, they're likely going to use those three weeks to make up all of these games. All right, Canucks fans, thanks for your great questions. A nice variety today. Hope I answered them to your satisfaction. As always, I want to give a shout out to my legends, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Andrew Chang, hero members, Nux fan number 29 and Justin Credible, Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shannon Hollingworth, Carol Bovlander, and HSM Fangirl Gaming. Also to franchise and all-star members, thank you to all of you for your support. And I appreciate, uh, you know, I don't, don't take you for granted for sure. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos or on the membership tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you like to, like this video if you like to, leave a comment down below if you like to, become a member of this channel if you'd like to. And if you want to leave a comment, talk about, uh, does it make sense to you that the, that the NHL is canceling all those cross-border games or does it make you even more frustrated? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, quickly, 8.30 tonight, members chat for franchising up on Zoom. Links in my community tab. 10 o'clock live stream, 11.15, premiere of my bowling mic'd up video. Tomorrow, recording cameos. And then I'll think about what I'm going to do to make up for the Tuesday and Thursday games that the Canucks aren't playing. I have a couple ideas, but I, I kind of got to refine them in my mind. Okay, friends, stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great Sunday. God bless and go Canucks go.